All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the New England Patriots. So right now, they're doing some joint practices with my Green Bay Packers, actually. And even though their offensive line has been a little shaky, the offense is still trying to find some consistency. The good news is the defense looks as good as ever and that they're already in season form. We've talked about it. This Patriots defense is you can't even dispute it. They're top 10. I think that they'll be closer to top five than they will be to top 10. But a lot of the question marks are actually, I should say, all of the question marks begin and end with the Patriots offense. So you look at the recent addition of Ezekiel Elliott. You look at Mac Jones trying to come back with you know, Matt Patricia last season. I mean, I'm surprised the Patriots even put points on the board with Matt Patricia as their offensive coordinator. You bring in Bill O'Brien to get Matt Jones back to his all-star form like he was in his rookie season. You bring in Mike Jasicki from free agency. Now you have Hunter Henry, Mike Jasicki, that's going to make red zone touchdowns a lot easier and just the game a lot easier for Mac Jones as well. That's also going to really help with the blocking because like I said, Apparently, the offensive line has been shaky in these joint practices with the Packers and just in training camp in general, giving up a lot of what would be sacks. So on paper, I love what the Patriots have, but the one thing that this team needs is consistency. And we've talked a lot on this channel all summer about guys like Taquan Thornton, who's ready to break out, Kayshawn Booty, Demario Douglas, who probably both of them will have day one impacts as rookies. We've talked about all the threats on the Patriots team. One guy who I've noticed kind of gets overlooked right now is Juju Smith-Schuster. But before we get into today's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. I post probably two or three Patriots videos every single week. So Patriot fans, if you try to get this video to 500 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. Now, the reason I bring up Juju is this. Last year, he was the chiefs wide receiver one technically right we all know it was travis kelsey pretty much is your wide receiver one so a lot the juju's big knock is he isn't a wide receiver one and even though last season he caught 78 balls for 933 yards and three touchdowns by the way coming off an injured season where he only played five games so this was a great bounce back season to just i mean it was his second best statistical season of his six-year nfl career but People are thinking like, oh, you know, for a wide receiver one, he'd even clear a thousand yards. Well, the thing is, Kansas City runs uh, an, an interesting offense, at, and it's mainly with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, but nonetheless, 933 yards, everyone's going to be pleased with. My point with Juju Smith-Schuster is all the Patriots need him to do is be better than Jacoby Myers. That's literally all they need him to do. I love Jacoby Myers, and I think that the Raiders got an absolute steal in free agency. But if we go back in Juju's NFL career, you know, we go back to his second year in the league. It was like four years ago, back in 2018. But that season in 16 games, he caught 111 balls for 1,400 yards and seven touchdowns, and he made a Pro Bowl. So he had almost 15 total hundred. 1500 total receiving yards and he had well over 100 total receptions so my point is we've seen juju smith schuster be a wide receiver one we've seen him put up wide receiver one statistics we've seen what he's capable of it's just the thing is this was four years ago so it's a big if but I'm positive Bill O'Brien, and I know I, I want to see it in live reps. I want to see it in the regular season, and I want to see it over the course of the entire regular season. But my point is, I think Bill O'Brien, being the new offense coordinator for the New England Patriots, I think not only is he going to extract as much as possible from Mac Jones and get him back to the Pro Bowl caliber self that we know he's capable of, Juju is going to play a huge role in it. He's going to play a huge role in it. And even if the statistics look like what they did last year, 80 catches, about 1,000 yards, that's great. I will take that any day of the week. What I don't want is, you know, a Juju who plays like 12 games, catches 40 balls for 500 yards. That That is, that that that's a recipe for disaster because at that point, you really need somebody to step up. You know, we've been talking all summer, like I said, about guys like Tyquan Thornton, Keishan Booty, and Demario Douglas, you know, specifically Tyquan Thornton entering his second year. This was the 2022 second round pick out of Baylor. You know, we've talked about how if these guys break out, if just one of those four, three players breaks out, Joining Hunter Henry, Mike Jacecki, Kendrick Bourne, Devontae Parker, Juju Smith-Schuster, Ramondre Stevenson, and Ezekiel Elliott, and Mac Jones is Mac Jones, well, the Patriots offense is going to be terrifying. 
But if you don't, you know, if we get that 40 catches, 500 yards, 12 games played by Juju, then you really need Tyquan Thornton to be like that freaking guy. You need him to be at worst a wide receiver too. You need Demario Douglas to make an impact day one. You know, you're relying a lot more on Devontae Parker to stay healthy. Uh, Kendrick Bourne's reliable, sturdy as they come, 800 receiving yards in Mac Jones' rookie season. So, it you know, the season doesn't come down to Juju <laughs> or Mac Jones, or I mean, the season kind of does come down to Mac Jones because your defense is loaded. But my point is there are so many threats on the wide receiver room, you know, running back room, tight end room for the Patriots. If they can keep Mac Jones upright, there's going to be chemistry and there's going to be connection. Hopefully what you just missed Schuster right out of the gate and, you know, just on paper, I mean, the wide receiver trio of Juju, Devontae, and Kendrick Bourne, that's solid in and of itself. And then we throw in the two, the two-headed monsters at running back and tight end where both of those guys can catch the ball. Zeke's great at, at pass blocking, which is extremely important because of all of the, you know, I don't want to like overreact to the Patriots offensive line concerns, but like right tackle-wise, Riley Reef, you know, I, there are definitely some concerns i wouldn't say they're massive and i would also reiterate that we're only one preseason game in you know we're still not i mean we're less than a month away from the start of the regular season but it's not like it's here you know this upcoming sunday like the patriots it, it makes sense that the patriots offense has yet to find their consistency because you're bringing in first off a healthy mac jones who's going to be qb1 all season you're bringing in a new offensive coordinator bringing in some new cats on the offensive line. You're just bringing in new players and offenses, as we all know, it takes longer to acclimate and get comfortable as opposed to a defense. So it makes sense. You know, usually you see defenses just be a lot better right out of the gate in training camp than your offense. It's a more complex scheme, a lot more things to learn. So I'm not worried about the offensive line. And as we mentioned, you know, in our last Patriots video, the addition of Zeke is huge, not only just because you know, everyone likes to say Zeke's washed. You know, he's 28 years old, whatever, whatever, whatever. First off, I mean, he turned 28 less than a month ago. I'm not worried about his age. I get it. There's concerns with the running backs. Zeke technically had his worst year of his career this past season, but 876 yards and 12 touchdowns, that's something personally I'm going to take because it's not like Zeke, you still have Ramondre Stevenson. It's not like Zeke is RB1. I think a lot of non-Patriots fans are overreacting to this saying like, well, well you know, what's the big deal about this? You got a, a washed running back. Well, it's like he's he's a backup running back coming off almost 900 rushing yards and 12 touchdowns. Like I'm pretty sure the Patriots are going to be happy with that addition. So once again, he's great at pass blocking, and that is definitely something you want to hear uh, with the offensive line murmurs coming out of camps right now. So that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Like I said, I post a couple of Patriots videos every single week. Uh, all in all, you know, we've talked about it a lot on this channel all summer, but you know, I see the Patriots as definitely an above 500 team. I think that defense is way too good to not. I mean, like we said, I, I'm surprised they won football games and put up points on the board with Matt Patricia as their offensive coordinator. They still won eight games. So you know, I think they're going to win at least nine games, but if that offense clicks, if that offensive line is fine, well, then we're talking double digit wins here. So let me know what you're thinking. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. And uh, if you want more Patriots videos, let me know down below, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.